I'm thinking to myself all the ways I'm going to hell, riding to grandma's house to sell this Dodge truck. You know, in the car business, you know, you got people come to you, you get to a certain point with them, you don't want to deal with them anymore. So you're not really nice or anything, you're just kind of like short and to the point and ready for them to leave. And I had a guy walk in and, and he just busted my balls every shot he got. I mean, he's just knocking them down. I'm just like, you know, you're killing me. He was probably late 40s and uh, balding, gut hanging out. And he goes, I'm buying this new fusion for my wife. And now his wife, she was a nice looking lady, about half his age. Pretty sure she had some aftermarket parts on her, just guessing. Very, very, very well put together, nice Christian gal. And I'll leave it at that. Definitely, definitely one you take to mama. And, you know, and he was proud of her. You're real observant in sales. You pick up on things, you know, you pick up on the shoes they're wearing or the jewelry they have on or, or the clothes they're wearing, or the jacket or the watch. You notice those things about people, you know, and it tells a lot about a person. This guy, you know, he's got a plane. Looks like he shopped at, you know, TJ Maxx. But she, she was, you know, she was a JC Penny gal. She was nice. Finally, it just got to the point where, you know, either I was going to make a sale or I was going to lose a sale, but I was going to do it fast one way or the other. So we're sitting there and he says, you know, what's crazy is I can go down the street and buy my wife a brand new Kia loaded out for half the price of this Fusion. I'm not talking to him anymore. His wife's sitting there. I said, how are you doing, ma'am? She said, doing great. And I said, Boy, that's a gorgeous ring you have on every woman in the world. And I take her hand and I look at it. I'm like, man, cubic zirconia? She said, no, it's real. And then she looks over at him. And I said, well, he was trying to buy a Kia at half the price. Maybe try to save a little money here too. We'll take the damn fusion. So I made a sale that day. It could either go one way or the other, but that's just dealing with people, you know. Every guy wants a truck. That's a guy thing. And, um, Four-wheel drive, three-quarter ton Dodge trucks, 250s, 2,500 Chevrolets. That's the premium. Everybody wants that. You know, every landscaper in the world feels like they need a three-quarter ton truck to pull a lawnmower around with. We had a guy come in the dealership and uh, mud on his boots. You know, you can tell he's a working guy. And he come in and we had a three-quarter ton Dodge truck we took in on trade at the dealership. And it was nice and it was lifted and had a nice set of wheels and tires on it. And it was a nice truck. And he come rolling in in probably a 20 year old Chevrolet truck covered in mud, beat to death, wheelbarrow in the back. I said, well, buddy, I said, what do you got to put down? He said, well, I got this old truck right here. And I'm thinking to myself, I said, well, let me call the used car manager up. And cause I wasn't gonna drive that piece of shit down, you know, and get my suit dirty driving in that. So I called him up to look at it. He looked at it and they were gonna give him $450 for it if he threw the wheelbarrow in. It was bad. It was real bad. So needless to say, you know, he didn't have a lot down to put down. Let's see what your credit looks like. So we're sitting there in a business office and we're filling out his credit report and his job history and where he works and how long he lived there. And, and I said, well, let's see what that credit score is like. We'll see what we can do. And I walked into the business office and I, I wasn't in there 30 seconds and got to turn around on it. He goes, yeah, this isn't going to work. His credit score, I ain't going to throw it out there, but it was on the lower side of 500. It was definitely not going to swing a high $30,000 truck at the time. And uh, so that wasn't going to work. And I said, hey, maybe you can get you a co-signer, help build your credit. We'll put this deal together today, get your payment down and everything. He said, well, I got my dad. Hey, what's dad doing? Well, he's at work. Hey, it's almost lunchtime. Does he take a lunch break? He said, yeah, he does. I said, let's ride and see him. You want to? So we got in that Dodge truck and we went and see him, dad. Dad said, boy, it's a good looking truck. I said, yeah, and just think about your son working and all this stuff. This is a good image. I mean, pulling up in front of a job site and this, you know what I'm saying, versus old Bessie over there. And this is reliable. And he said, you know, he's fixing to get married and have a wife. I mean, this is, this is a hot date truck. This is multi-purpose. You know, being a salesman, it's what I do. Dad signs the dotted line. I'm thinking, we might be able to make this work after all. I come rolling in, walk into the business office and yet again, Right back around again. Dad was about 50 points higher than the sun. Still not enough. At this point, I done smoked about a half pack of cigarettes and done wore out two pairs of floor shimes walking back and forth between the business office and my office. 
And I told him, I said, listen, buddy, I said, as bad as I hate to admit it, I don't think we're going to be able to put this together unless you come up with a large amount of money or someone that can co-sign with you with a decent beacon. And he starts shaking his leg and he's like, my grandma, grandma. I said, where's grandma live? In Greer, which is a town just next town over. You know, I said, let's go see grandma. I'm thinking to myself, all the ways I'm going to hell, riding to grandma's house to sell this Dodge truck. Total straw deal, but slow week, you know? You gotta do what you gotta do. Well, he didn't tell me exactly where grandma lived. We drove past the cemetery first, and I'm like, whoa, too far gone, we can't even do that. But then we drove past the cemetery, and he said, take a right right here. It was a retirement home. And I'll never forget, we caught the late lunch shift at the Cottage House Retirement Community in Greer, South Carolina. And we sit down at the table when everybody's eating lunch and all this stuff with all these 80, 90 year olds, people in walkers. Hey, Grandma. There's a bunch of grandmas out there. I didn't know which one it was, you know, but she pops up and she gets out and she's about four foot 11 with a walker. He said, look what I want to buy. So 20 minutes later, we made it outside to the truck with her to look at it. And she said, the only way I'm going to co-sign on this vehicle is if I drive it. Now keep in mind, this is a lifted Dodge 2500 truck. This truck sits four foot off the ground. She's four foot 11. I picked up his grandmother and set her in the driver's seat. I run the seat all the way to the top and raised it as high as I could. Can you see? Yes, sir, I can see just fine. I hop in the back seat, say a prayer for forgiveness. We take it around the block. She drove over every curb, every island in that parking lot. She returned it back to the parking spot somewhat. She took about three of them, but she did park it unscathed. I carefully set her back down in front of her walker 20 minute trip back into the retirement community and we filled out a credit app at the lunch table in the retirement home. And at the time, and keep in mind this was you know, 2000s, I was pretty sly, so I done whipped out my Blackberry and done sent the information. I was, you know, social the whole shooting match. Done sent it to the guy in the business office. I get back, Rob, we need to talk to you. I'm like, shit, not again. Has anybody got any credit in this family. And I'm thinking up the story. I'm going to tell them why I've spent so much time on this. I walk into the business office. He said, you got to be the luckiest son of a bitch that ever breathed there. Grandmother had an 845 beacon. And then the next day we got a, got a, a firm, firm, firm lecture about straw deals, but that's a whole nother story for a whole nother time. Are you looking to buy your dream car? Premier Financial Services offers the flexibility of financing with the tax benefits of leasing. The PFS Simple Lease offers quick approvals and easy termination when you are ready for the next car. Visit our website and follow us for more.